Welcome back to another video for HerberFinancialOnline.com. Today I'm going to be talking about small business income tax preparation. And if you have a small business, uh, Schedule C, I'm going to show you how to prepare the return online and the different things you need to know to get all the deductions and how to properly report a Schedule C business. So first thing, let's get the video started and we'll go through all the specific areas that you need to know. The Schedule C gets attached to your regular 1040. Um, so what it is is just a couple pages of a tax form that gets attached to your regular 1040. It's not a separate form that you file to the IRS. This is an attachment to your regular 1040. And the most important thing you need to know with having a Schedule C business, there's lots of deductions. So it's really important that you plan out your expenses and you keep good track of them. And through our site, we have what we have is an online estimator calculator that's going to allow you to predict how much tax you're going to owe if you have a Schedule C business and what kind of write offs are available to you. And I'm going to go through the Schedule C form and go through all the deductions and write offs and show you how to report this. Um, you can prepare this all online, a Schedule C business. It's not something you have to mail in, it all can be done electronically. You can amend prior year tax returns if you didn't report all your write-offs. So after this video, if you see some deductions that you didn't use in prior years, what you can do is refile those old returns, and that's called, called amending a return, and get those deductions. So that, that's something to keep in mind. With business equipment, this is where some of the big deductions come into play, is you can depreciate business equipment. You can have a one-time write-off right now where you can deduct up to $250,000 right off the bat. That would be $250,000 you don't have to pay tax on. So there's different depreciation rules. You can depreciate vehicles and office expenses, computers, all of that. Vehicle mileage. You can do deduct vehicle mileage at $0.55 cents per mile or actual vehicle deductions. The home office deduction is the biggest write-off you can have right now for a small business. So make sure you're doing that. Organize all your expenses by month, day, and year. It's very important that you have a good log of all your expenses with receipts and supporting information. That's key to staying organized and if you have to verify this at some point down the road, you want to have all those records in place. Prepare like you're going to have an audit. That's what I always suggest. Um, so just always have those available and try to keep as organized as possible. Even if it's a very small business, that it's going to help you out. It's normal, I guess statistically it's normal for a small business, a Schedule C, to show a loss in the first year of operations. So that that's kind of expected. So if you do have a loss, don't be afraid by filing a loss on your tax return. If you had one, you had one, and that, that's expected in the first couple of years with a lot of businesses. And if you had W-2 wages, that's going to be wages from a job, and you had a loss from a business, it's going to offset the tax from your job. So what that means is your refund is going to be bigger if you had a loss with that Schedule C business. Again, try our online estimator if you want, harborfinancialonline.com. It'll allow you to put in that business income in there and see what your taxes are going to be and all the deductions and income amounts that you got. I'm going to take you to the website real quick and show you Schedule C. Here's our website, harborfinancialonline.com. You can use the estimator and you can prepare the return directly online here. Here's Schedule C. The top part is your income. Part 2 is going to be all your deductions. So these are the ones I want you to categorize and keep organized. And you'll find a box that's going to be appropriate for whatever expense you have in part two. And then the home office deduction is going to be a separate form, 8829. And it's going to get attached. But if you do return online, it's going to provide all these forms to you. And here's for mileage for vehicle. 
the deduction you're going to get for that. And any miscellaneous expenses that you don't find a box for up above are going to go down here. But if you do the return online, it's automatically going to complete this form for you. So you don't have to worry about all these separate boxes. It's going to automatically populate these boxes. So let me get the video started here again. So those are some of the key areas I want you to know about filing a small business tax return. That number one, it's normal to show a loss in the beginning, so don't be afraid to do that. And number two, stay organized with your receipts and supporting information. If you have any questions, send me an email, expert at harborfinancialonline.com. I'll help you any way I can. Thank you for watching the videos, and hopefully you'll check out our website, harborfinancialonline.com. Thank you. Mm -hmm.